trying it. Okay, fine. Let's see. Instead of that, you could have asked me. I would have shown you guys. So let's see. I click it. I click it. Say it's not getting repeated by itself. So append, just like plain English, like append. Append is adding to already existing thing over there. But as HTML is erase the previous one and put the new one. Erase the previous one and put the new one. Okay. Now let's do another example here. Okay. Now here it is. <coughs> Instead of some you know something random text here, what I do is dot okay, I'll say this dollar this dot I'll say text. Okay. All right. So instead of HTML, I'll again go back. Okay, dot this. This is very important here. I'll put it here. So this this is a keyword which says okay whatever on which particular thing we are which selector we are calling the event we are calling on button right button dot click right. So that means this when it when I say this the context is the but whatever the selector on which the event is being applied. Okay, so this means it says okay use uh, the selector on which the event or the method is called upon so it's it's a contextual contextual uh, keyword let me say or i don't know predefined i don't know what it is exactly called as a keyword okay contextual keyword so this this means now on which on which selector i'm getting uh, where is this so this is inside dot click right inside dot click so it means button okay it means this means button let's see we'll we'll be using more of this now let's see what happens here <coughs> so again here, here text uh, what all we discussed now let me just uh, close my screen share so we have, have discussed uh, ready right the method so this is a default which you should be used like you know as soon as the document is ready apply this then we have used click click is nothing but on click what should happen on click then we have seen append append will add add to the existing existing content and html okay html uh, will just will erase the old content and put the fresh one okay and <coughs> what else uh, we'll be seeing now this keyword and we'll see text right what is that text right yeah text <coughs> okay and text and html has the bo has both has the same meaning actually now you guys have been guessed what it exactly does now let's see click to test me click to test me click to test me so let me use a br there uh, so that makes my life easier over here <coughs> so i'll say plus br what is plus does uh, what what significance um, what is plus there guys come on what is plus there <coughs> what does plus do oh no screen sharing okay yeah, yeah i got it i got it so what does plus do so what i've uh, okay i'll just do this so yeah now let's see what does plus do i just said plus plus means a concatenation operator over there it adds up two strings now let's see i refresh this i'll say now you see click to test me click to test me so whatever the content between the key uh, the button tag that's what it's throwing up there okay so text and html has the same functionality over there so i say explanation this
right text and uh, this means that particular context okay so uh, that is our uh, this keyword so whatever i write here now i'll change uh, click to test me to something else i'll say add me above please let's say so i'll just see add me to above please and add me to above please so that's what text does and dar this is contextual keyword all right keeps on adding as yes, as majesty now when is this useful now let's go to the useful things okay when we can really use this now <clears throat> let me write here instead of dollar this and stuff what i do is i'll remove this and i'll say input type <coughs> equal to text name equal to <coughs> uh let's say name equal to um, address an array over there i'll tell you uh, why i'll be using an array over here and and i'll say uh, let me add a class here so class input address okay and i'll use a placeholder here placeholder equal to uh oops address line i say okay and i'll say i close this i'll add a br there okay instead of this what i say is like uh add address line i say okay let me just see that what it does okay it says add address line <clears throat> now let me click this you see here address line address line address line now let me give a class i gave a class there right let me style it let us make it address line so here i'll say padding equal to 5 pixel i'll say margin some 10 pixel and what else i'll say here address okay let's see at okay the margin is nothing no style has been applied let us see what what's happening over there so it's getting added but uh, is that class input address did we write the correct class oh address line i said i'm sorry it's input address <coughs> so now you say you sometimes you say add more images or add more uh, something else like you know this is how it works you see that address line okay border you want a border to find it's out of border so let's say border solid 1 pixel hash uh, let's say 4 5 6 7 8 9 i don't know what exactly that color is Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. So let me refresh this. Yeah, it looks good. Right now, instead of that, okay, I'll give a small link there. 